You good? Okay. Yeah. My well, I'll jump it off. You know, man, obviously a lot has happened since the last time. I got to speak to you. Uh, what led to the decision to, you know, stay? And what, have, what kind of things have you seen in the program in you know, the first couple months on the frame? I mean, it, it was a tough decision. Uh, being here for four years, didn't really know if I was coming back or not. But just having those talks with family and friends and just with Coach Fran, just, just he had a plan on everything and just his vision on everything. And I really just kind of relate, relate to him a lot. So definitely love, love being Coach Fran. What were you considering? Were you considering NFL over here or, or NFL everything. transfer portal here? Yeah, considering everything, considering declaring for the draft, declaring, I mean, figuring out portal, everything. It was, you know, with Coach Babers leaving, just, it was a lot on the table. I just didn't know, but. Finally here, and I'm happy happy that I stayed here. Did you get uh, Did you get a draft advisory grade? Did you go that far in the NFL? No, yeah, everything. It was, it was a lot of talks. Talked to a lot of agents. It was every, everything's up in the team. Every single thing. How much did you consult with JB on, on your guys' decision? Was it kind of like a Garrett Michael situation, or? Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, you know, me and JB were real close. We talk every day, so it was. We definitely wanted to keep on playing together. You see, that's what it was. So why? Um, why back? Why not? Why not? At least. Check what uh, what unrestricted free agency is like. I mean, that's not. I mean, that's not really. That's just. I feel like that wasn't the best for me. I felt talk, talking and just planning everything with Coach Fran. I just feel like his vision, and everything. He had a great thing for me. I feel like we're gonna do a lot of good things this year. And I feel like the decision is gonna be the best decision. What did he tell you that was like the most impactful that, that made you? We just we're just, we're just gonna win. We're gonna change this organization. Everything that people think about with Syracuse. Syracuse football right now, he's, we're going to change it. He's bringing players here, he's bringing people around, we're in the community, everything, everything's falling right in place. What's the biggest like structural change in the program, like either practice-wise or something in the facility, anything like that? I'll say just how he's challenging everybody. He's, he's, he's attacking every single person on the team, even the, even the guys that people don't know about. He's challenging everybody, everybody get better mentally, physically, emotionally, every single, everywhere. When you when you had that conversation with him, did you guys meet like in person, or did you talk over the phone? What, what was it like? It was, it was in person. You know, he was up here during bowl game week, so it was a lot of talks so over the phone during break. We we got real close during that time. Marlo, you the cause of the mob. You JB Cinco. How have y'all you know been able to maintain that closeness and also kind of help mitigate some of the you know some of the new personnel on the team? I mean, with with one of workouts and everything, when you're grinding grinding with guys, putting blood, sweat, and tears and everything, you're gonna get close with them guys. We got a lot of talks. We spend a lot of a lot of time with each other. Coach Coach Fran, that was one of his biggest things since he know he was mixing a lot of new people together. He wanted us to stay close, so we did a lot of going to the movies together, going in the community with each other. We're just just we're together all all day. It's good. Marlo, what are you seeing from some of the younger guys um, that you're really liking during practice? I oh, know, yeah. I see. I see a lot of, a lot of everybody battling. I see a lot of transfers coming and battling, and I love it. Talk, really on the DB room, Marcellus Barnes. He's been fighting, fighting a lot. At least during this semester, what have been the biggest changes? Just, um, just in terms of talking with coaches and just spring ball practices. I mean, it's just like I keep on saying. It's just how he's challenging everybody. He's, he's attacking everybody. Everybody's he's bringing the best out of every single player on the team. Talking about offense, defense, special teams, everything. And how like often have you been talking with Coach Brand, especially during this spring ball practice? No, we talk a lot. He wants me to um, step up leadership role, of course. He want, he wants to see he wants to see me get more vocal with guys, just lean the defense a little bit more. I know you guys got a scrimmage coming up this weekend. Uh, what are you most looking forward to um, on Saturday? Just upsetting um, the offensive coaches, man. I, I, I don't want to see offensive coaches scoring no touchdowns. I don't want to see them happy running down the sideline, none of that. Last question. Marla, uh, what are you kind of seeing from this offense, especially bringing in someone like uh, Kyle McCord? I see, I see a lot of talent. I see a lot of speed. It's, I see the O line. They're, they're coming in, coming into themselves, bringing the new guys in. Everybody's competing. I see them. They're getting bigger. I see them from one of workouts. Everybody looking strong. I see them just, just getting better, flying around. Kyle McCord is leading them guys really good. Thanks, Marlon. Thank you.